did you catch all that? That's fine if you didn't. I just wanted to do a really quick one just to get to the point. Now I'm going to do a very a longer explanation where I actually explain what I'm doing and how I do it. So now we're going to need to get the... We're going to start off by getting the XG, HD textures. I'll leave a link in the description just so you can download it. I'm going on to the uh, wiki. Dolphin emulator for Tales of Symphonia. We're going to go and get the download link right now. Someone was nice enough to make it for us. The website is going to want you to create an account. I don't want an account, I just want the link. Alright, we're going to download it. Okay. Now we have a download. Good. I'm going to move it to our my desktop. Just to make things nice and simple. Okay, it's in a 7z folder, which is a, a compiled folder. So if you have WinRAR, which most of you do, uh, go ahead and uh, extract it. I don't like having WinRAR because I don't want like anything downloaded on my computer and I don't have to. So I'm just going to use an online extractor to uh, extract the files. Probably should have just left in downloads, but oh well. Okay, well now that's lo uh, now that's loading. Let's open up where we're gonna be putting all these uh, HD textures. It's gonna be under our documents, and it's gonna be under the uh, uh, Dolphin emulator. Okay, now we're gonna go to load. Textures go inside there, and I'll just leave that open. All right, once it's all downloaded, we're gonna have to make it so you could actually use it in HD. I like the Dolphin emulator full screen, so you're gonna go on to aspect ratio, and you want to put it on 16 by 9, which is gonna be like an HD rich, uh, resolution. I like to have it on the full th uh, screen, so I put it stretched to the window. Because I like it all the way. And now we're just going to go on to load custom textures. Which will enable the textures that are in your textures file. So now, last step, we're going to have to uh, move the uh, newly downloaded HD textures onto uh, the textures uh, folder. You don't want to move it while it's in the zip file, uh, folder because it might cause problems later. Might cause an error. So we just want everything raw and out. Keep everything simple. And that's it. Everything should be up and running. The last step is just to uh, turn it on. This is what it's supposed to look like. So now let's get the emulator started. And uh, I'll... Now I'm going to show you what it looked like before and after. So this is how it looked like before. A little uh, sort of blurry. And now this is with the HD textures. is really nice and clear and clean. So if you don't see... The one on the right, then it's, I guess you must have missed this step or maybe an error has occurred. Um, yeah, well that's it. One thing that I did notice during this opening sequence originally, it was super distorted. The audio, it kept on glitching out. Now when I played it, it was uh, for the most part clear and clean. I mean like you hear a little bit of error glitch, but besides that, it was all good. So. Um, the one thing that I should mention is that the game has a weird blur to it. I have it removed right now, but if it looks super blurry for some reason, I could uh, I recommend you go and watch that uh, video. It's a quick little video, and that's it. So uh, hopefully you enjoy the game a lot.